Ladies, babies, crazies, and gentlemen, get on your feet because tonight is the night I say no more. Tonight is the night that I'm here, here on SmackDown and I'm away from Raw. And now we'll showcase my ability and showcase the limitless what of who I am. Is limitless. Limitless is taking the advice of the American dream, Dustin Rhodes. To not quit. To not quit. Not to give up. It's coming back. After failure. After failure. After failure. And overcoming those failures to prove that my drive, limitless, my determination, limitless, right. and now my future in NXT. Damn it. To stop what you're doing, take just one Smackdown and no to no that I'm ready to, to defend my Intercontinental Championship and some more Joe you want to talk a little shit you want to talk a little smack then why about you bring your ass out here right now <laughs> that's not Samara Joe <laughs> So I'm saying Dana interrupted Keith Lee and unexpected. Why is he interrupting Keith Lee? Oh man, I had to tell you I was hoping for this. I really wanted, wanted you to come out here so that I would have the chance to show you, show you up in front of the entire universe just to see. Because I was really ex wasn't expecting this first the rock and now you and I don't know. I just want to pretty much introduce you to myself. I already, well, pretty much not introduce myself. I already know, you already know who I am. These people know who I am. I'm the face of this whole company. Let's see, to tell you that you're in John Cena's land. Yeah, all right? Also, Lord, to your respect, it just vanished. It just disappeared, huh? All of a sudden, now you are the biggest asshole in WWE and this whole damn company. You're the ass kisser, and now you pretty much Mr. NWO, rootless, and now you just want to talk me down. I don't really care. 
I don't really care. I don't you gotta talk all that shit about the Indies, but just know the Indies right now will be circling around your ass in this ring. Just know that I'd rather be in the Indies than be a kiss ass any day. The Intercontinental Championship is the only championship that you ever never accomplished. And right now, you wanna fight? You wanna fight here tonight? <laughs> Oh, yo, he died? So this gotta be an April Fool's, okay? Damn. The only zero I see around here is you. And you're the same son of a bitch that lost to the Velveteen Dream at WrestleMania. You on a slump, homie. You on a slump, and you've been on a losing streak. You know, I got all respect and now I lost all that respect for you. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you is. I don't care if you're the greatest of all time. You're going to have the greatest ass kicking of a lifetime tonight. Just know that you have to say I'm not angry or combative. I don't care or even annoyed. You know what I'm about a poster? Hell, photoshop yourself over me. I don't give a damn about a poster. I give a damn about Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? You want to fight the franchise? You want to fight the guy who pretty much... No, that, no, I'm not done. fight the franchise you want to be buried on your first night here on smackdown no problem no problem you could come out here every week and you try to push your fat ass around show off your clown and bully people well maybe i'm the bully i right hear huh i'm the guy right here i'm not gonna be the, like the rock i'm gonna just kick your ass and win because that's what i do <laughs> it's not a question of it it's a question of when. Like I said, right now, right here, right now, and on SmackDown, put the Intercontinental Championship, put my Intercontinental Championship 